In this video today guys, we'll be taking a look at five coins for Elon Musk. These are five cryptocurrencies that should suit his needs exactly and to the T. Ultimately, if he's looking to accept payment for um, you know, Teslas and things like that, these five cryptocurrencies would be perfect. If he's looking to store value, yeah, they can do that too. Right guys, as we get into this video, if you find this useful and informative, do go ahead and hit that like button. We both really do appreciate it. And if you happen to be new to the channel and you'd like to stay up to date with those new cryptocurrencies, the hidden gems, the technical analysis, and news, do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything we do here. It is free, you'll stay well informed, so why not? Right, Chris, with that said, anything else you want to add before we jump on down and get into these five cryptocurrencies? So, you know, there's lots of projects in this space, right? So we whittled it down as best we could, but do let me know in the comments, you know, if you would have had a different project in this list. Interested to know. And I'm going to tag Elon in, uh, Elon in the, the tweet that I'm going to send out for, for this video. So let's try to get his attention. Uh, hopefully he yeah, like the video and uh, start to, to delve in a little bit deeper into some of these projects, right? Absolutely, right. Let's guys, let's get into it. Let's jump down to the desktop and start talking about project number one. Let's do it. Okay, guys, obviously it has to be Cardano. Um, and Cardano is very well positioned to help Elon Musk with all his endeavors. Obviously, it's having the smart contract development uh, roll out onto the testnet now. We actually dropped a video on this, this uh, earlier today. So do check that one out if you want to know more about what's uh, actually happening with Cardano right now. But ultimately, let's just fast forward, let's say, three, four, maybe even six months down the line, um, Cardano would be very well positioned to run all those smart contracts and uh, be well positioned to actually help Elon Musk with his endeavors, right? Ultimately, this is going to be incredibly cheap, incredibly energy efficient, and is the world's most decentralized network out there. So this one definitely ticks an awful lot of boxes. Um, being the fact that if you wanted to use it as a payment method for Teslas, it's going to be incredibly cost effective to do so. And obviously, it's quite Quite liquid and with being the world's most decentralized network it tends to hold a bit of a value too so this one has uh, quite a lot of potential going for it and could be you know the answer to elon's problems so again guys this is a fantastic project do check out some of the other videos on the channel if you want to learn more about cardano i'm not going to dive too much into it into this one but we want to call out that cardano is incredibly well positioned to help Elon Musk. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the second project. Now, this second project is, you know, another fantastic one, and we've been speaking about it for a while, and it has to be VeChain. Now, VeChain is moving mountains in the space, doing fantastic things in all sorts of different sectors. It started out as a supply chain blockchain, uh, ultimately helping you know with uh, authentication, understanding traceability within the supply chain niche. Now, ultimately, uh, VeChain has moved on a little bit and has dabbled into many different industries. We've seen it be being utilized by the likes of BMW, Renault, for example. So why not Tesla? Right. Ultimately, if you wanted to verify mileage, you could do that. If you wanted to actually use it as a currency, well, VeChain 2.0 is just around the corner where they're getting into DeFi. And this thing could be incredibly well positioned to actually help Tesla specifically with all of its goals in terms of traceability for every vehicle, but also as a mode of payment for those vehicles too. So again, VeChain has uh, potential answers here for Elon Musk, okay? It's credibly affordable, has the right kind of circulation behind it. The tokenomics are sound with two tokens. It has obviously VET for the currency option and you have a V4 as the gas option, right? So two currencies, a dual token system that actually keeps things in harmony and balanced across the two. So ultimately uh, I can see VeChain being an absolutely fantastic you know, option for Elon and Tesla in their endeavors to, you know, accept payment for, for Tesla cars, but also to be able to, you know, actually verify Teslas on blockchain, right? So again, VeChain should be something that uh, Elon Musk is investigating. And uh, in terms of environmentally friendly, well, they're already looking to clean up the oceans and they're doing wonders there as well. Uh, again, incredibly energy efficient. So why wouldn't you be paying attention to VeChain and uh, the VeChain 4 blockchain, right? Um, so I'm not going to talk in any more on VeChain, but do check out the channel as well. We've done loads of videos on this one. And this is an incredible blockchain, an incredible piece of technology that's widely adopted around the globe. And well, Tesla just makes sense. Right, let's jump into the next project. And this one would not be a surprise to many of you guys. 
it has to be XRP, right? So if we're just taking in that notion of payments and you want it to be an incredibly efficient and cost-effective payment method that is incredibly energy efficient and doesn't do too much damage to the environment slash hardly any uh, like Bitcoin, then there's only really a handful of obvious choices, right? And XRP has to be amongst them. Now, obviously, there are issues in terms of the SEC's lawsuit recently, and we have been covering that as well recently in terms of you know trying to keep update uh, people updated with what is going on there. We do believe it's actually going to most likely end in settlement. Um, I can't see the SEC wanting to take the the L for that one. So um, we'll see a settlement. I'm I'm fairly confident on that. And as a result, I think this. XRP is going to be very well positioned in the United States to move on further forward. The rest of the world does see XRP as a currency or a mode of exchange for value. And uh, as a result, it's incredibly uh, cost efficient and uh, energy efficient for making transfers of money across borders. So again, in terms of taking payments for those sweet rides, um, you could see um, XRP as, the, uh, as that medium of exchange. It could be used as the currency to actually buy those Tesla cars, right? It makes sense and uh, it has to be brought up in this list. So XRP, again, very well positioned. And I think uh, once that lawsuit is put to bed over in the United States, the, the United States themselves will get on board with the rest of the world, identifying XRP as a currency and not a security. And that means that ultimately, I think this thing could be utilized very, very well for Elon Musk's needs with Tesla in taking payment. Um, in cryptocurrency. With that being said, I'm not going to dive any more into the world of XRP here, but do check out the channel if that's of interest. Right, let's get into the next one. And guys, this will be a no-brainer for many of you. That's right, it's Harmony. Now, Harmony are actually in the middle of building a bridge to, drum roll, Bitcoin. Okay, so let's just say Elon Musk absolutely categorically must accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. But obviously, it's proof of work. It's, you know, uh, potentially damaging to the environment, all that kind of nonsense that you hear, even though the majority of it's actually mined off green energy. Um, ultimately, you know, from a, a PR point of view, you might want to still accept Bitcoin because it's a store of value, right? And that's where all those billions of dollars are being stored, right? So it's a good uh, hedge against uh, against risk, right? Um, so let's say you want to accept Bitcoin, um, but you want it to be, you know, more efficient, more cost effective and better for the environment enters Harmony. Now, Harmony's bridge uh, has already bridged to a places like Ethereum. Um, it's building a bridge to Bitcoin. And this basically means that you'll be able to accept Bitcoin payments in a proof of stake way across a sharded system like Harmony. It means that it's going to be cost efficient. It's going to be fast. And of course, it's going to be environmentally friendly. So enter Harmony. So if you absolutely categorically, Elon must be accepting uh, Bitcoin as a form of payment, this is just around the corner and you'll be able to have incredibly fast finality and, of course, incredibly cheap, cost effective uh, mode of payment here for Bitcoin. So, again, I'm not going to talk too much about this one. We do cover it a lot on the channel. Again, if it's of interest, check that out. OK, that's four out of five down, guys. There's one more left. OK, and um, again, because we brought up XRP, we have to bring up Stellar Lumens. OK, so Stellar Lumens came into existence as a fork or um, I guess a copy of XRP with some minor mod modifications. So again, this particular kind of project is actually geared up towards the people, right? Uh, we have XRP, which is often referred to as the banker's coin. And here we have Stellar, which is kind of often referred to as the people's coin. Um, and this particular project is moving mountains with so many different things that it's doing in the space. Again, just like XRP, incredibly cost effective, incredibly cheap and fast uh, in terms of cross-border payments and is designed exactly for storing and moving money. So again, if Elon Musk is uh, looking to have, um, you know, Tesla's purchased with cryptocurrency and to be at that cutting edge of, uh, of technology moving forward, then why wouldn't you be considering Stellar Lumens? Uh, amongst some of these many other projects, right? This one is exactly geared up for this exact purpose. You're supposed to spend money uh, on this blockchain, right? It's there for transactions. It's incredibly fast and ultimately incredibly cheap and effective. Basically, it is 
uh, incredibly energy efficient, very, very green, and is moving mountains in many different sectors around the world. We've seen property and real estate kind of get um, tokenized and issued on the Stellar blockchain. We've seen 20 or so thousand farmers over in Africa utilizing USDC on the Stellar blockchain for buying and selling grains and trading uh, generally over in Africa. Uh, and again, this is a very well positioned project to help serve what Elon Musk is trying to do, uh, at least in terms of buying cars with cryptocurrency. So guys, we don't want to talk too much about all of these projects because the list could be on, go on and on and on. It can kind of uh, you know, be an ever growing list. There's over 10,000 cryptocurrencies and most of them are better positioned to actually, you know, buy Tesla cars um, than Bitcoin or Dogecoin. Ultimately, Dogecoin has no real use case whatsoever. It was created as a joke. It is a meme coin that serves no purpose. Um, so it doesn't really even get entered into this list. Bitcoin is a good place of store of value, was originally designed for payments, but let's face it, it's too costly, not cost effective, and ultimately is proof of work consensus mechanism is not good for the environment. Even though we are using greener energy, we are still using a vast amount of energy. So guys, hopefully you found this list relatively you know, useful, informative, maybe even entertaining to a degree. But these are the five projects that we've kind of called out here. As I said, many more projects do exist. Let us know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. What projects would you want to call out to Elon Musk uh, as a more efficient, um, you know, uh, both in terms of payment and energy? Uh, that would be better suited to his needs. Chris, anything else you feel like I've uh, missed or you want to add? Uh, just, you know, the, the, there's lots of projects that could have made this list. Adira, uh, Algo, like uh, EOS, like the list goes on and on and on, right? Um, but do let us know in the comments below, you know, what what would sort of take the place of of one of the, the five that we've mentioned here and why. Really interested to know. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Guys, if you found this useful, informative, maybe even entertaining at times, then do go ahead and hit that like button. We both really do appreciate it. And of course, if you happen to be new to the channel and you'd like to stay up to date with the new cryptocurrencies, the hidden gems, the technical analysis and news, then do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything we do here. It is free. You'll stay well informed. So why not? With that said, done and out of the way, we hope everyone has a fantastic day and we'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah, take care.